Like I mentioned a minute ago, we have Captain Red Slavin to tell us a couple of stories. Uh, what was, what's the first one you'd like to tell us? Well, I'll tell you a good one. You know, July 4th, 1896, Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. Hot day, 115 degrees. Uh -huh. Now, a depot road in Northampton, Hampton Falls there, the trains would come down from Portland, Maine, and from Boston. Mm -hmm. And they'd stop there, and there was a barge, not one in the water, on land, and it had horses pulling it, a big wagon. Oh, I see. They'd put 40 tourists on that and take them to Hampton Beach down the road. And at Hampton Beach, they built a new skating rink that held 500 people skating. Mm. And what happened there was, that's the Lafayette Road is Route 1, you know? Right, right. Now, on the Lafayette Road, what happened, there was some stagecoach robbers. And they saw the stagecoach coming from Boston with a big metal cabinet full of money and gold and silver. And what they did, they held up the stage, they killed the two drivers of the stage, and they grabbed the chest of money. But right then, the Hampton Constabulary would chase them and they chased him down to the mouth of Hampton River. And the witch of River's Mouth was there. Now his name was Goody Cole. Now old Goody Cole had a big iron pot. And she used to cook lobsters in there and fish and sell it to make a living. She lived in a little tent there by the river mm -hmm. and put wood under the pot and boil the water. So they come down and poor little Goody Cole she had a little sailboat, they called it a shallop, a little one-masted sailboat, and they knocked her on the head and they took her boat. Whoa. And they put the chest of silver and gold in it, and they headed down the Hampton River by Beckman's Point down there. So what happened then? Goody Cole come to, she says, I'll pick it. Underneath the kettle, she put a lot of wood and got a boiling fire. And when she did that, she threw a little toy boat in the boiling water rough. Right then, the ocean got rough, smashed the scallop with the two bandits against the rocks on Beckman's Point. Down went the chest of gold and silver. Still there today, nobody found it. And now what happened there? At the skating ring in Hampton Beach, she conjured up a typhoon. In from the ocean come a twister cloud, funnel cloud, and it ripped the roof off the skate ring, knocking the people all in the ocean, and down the coast that typhoon went. Right over Hampton Beach, wrecked that, Salisbury Beach ruined that, blew the roofs all the places, and then it went down to Beverly Harbor. Now, in Beverly Harbor, there's a little steamboat there, something like the boat Timmy runs down in Newburyport, only I was a lot safer, you know? So, so what happened there? The typhoon hit the little boat, flipped it upside down, with 30 people trapped in the cabin in the glass windows, couldn't get out. And she started to sink on the way to Salem Willows, you know, down the harbor. And what happened then? They're sinking, they're screaming and crying in that boat. Along came a big black guy, six foot, four inches, in a 22-foot dory, a flounder fisherman in them days. He'd catch the flounders, the harbor was full of them, and sell them. He saw what happened. He rode with the oars of that big 22-foot dory over to the steamboat, and he smashed the windows out of the boat and pulled the whole 30 people out, put them in his dory, and took them to shore. And who was that? He, he saved their life, and one lady on the boat says, what was his name? We want to reward him. And the lady says, I don't know who he is, but bless his soul. So they called him bless his soul ever since then. Wow. But when they finally found out where he was from, Stromberg's, they bought him a new boat fishing on Jefferson's. Wow. 